so hello guys welcome back to our lecture video and in this video we are going to divide polynomials using synthetic division let's start so the division algorithm goes dividend divided by divisor is equal to the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor and in fraction form we can also say that it's dividend over the divisor is equal to the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor so synthetic division can be applied if your divisor is in the form of dx minus c or we can say linear polynomial and uh, the process follows only simple steps we bring down we multiply and then we add and then we repeat that process until all of the coefficients will be used and another thing synthetic division uses the coefficients of your polynomial for the process of the synthetic division so okay so let's have an example remember huh? bring down we multiply then we add then we repeat the process okay so if we divide here x squared plus 6x plus 8 by x plus 2 um, in the long division process we will be arranging it this way so we have x squared plus 6x plus 8 then divided by x plus 2. So in the synthetic division, instead of uh, using all the terms with variables, um, we use their coefficients. Coefficients, so in that, uh, we will be using the coefficients of the first term of the dividend, the, x, the leading coefficient, the coefficient of x, and the constant itself. So with that, in that case, we're going to have 1 for the coefficient of x squared, 6 for the coefficient of the x and 8 as our constant so since the divisor is in the form of x minus c we can apply the synthetic division and that c will be our multiplier in the synthetic division process so um, we can write down our multiplier so if x minus c is equals to x minus 2 right here so if x minus c is equals to x plus 2 rather then our c is negative 2 for you to get that is how to make the divisor equal to zero so x plus 2 is equal to zero we solve for x then x is equal to negative 2 therefore our uh, synthetic divisor uh, we call this synthetic divisor synthetic divisor which is the c value in the divisor x minus c okay and now we perform the synthetic division and after this, I'm going to show you the long division as well and compare it. So step one, we bring down. So we bring down the one under the, the, the bar. So that's one. Then we multiply the synthetic divisor to one. And then we place the answer below six. So that is negative two times one gives us a negative two. And then the third step is we add. So when we add 6 plus negative 2, we get a 4. Then we repeat that process. So we multiply again the negative 2 by 4. And we'll be obtaining a negative 8. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. And this last term here is actually our remainder. Remainder. And since we're dividing a quadratic polynomial with a linear polynomial then the quotient is one degree lower so meaning our quotient here is from one that is one x and then plus the constant four so in short the answer is x plus four easier than long division right so if we perform long division it's going to look like this way so we have x squared plus six x plus eight divided by x plus 2 see my handwriting okay so we divide the first term so i'm going to use red or blue so divide x squared with x we get an x we multiply this x with the divisor so we're going to have x squared plus 2x i'm going to make it this one quick because we discuss the long division from our previous video so if you want to learn how to perform long division again i'm going to put the link here so, okay, so that's change the sign, change the sign. So that gives us 6, ah, sorry, that gives us a 6x minus 4x, 2 minus 2x gives us 4x. Bring down the 8, we repeat the process. 4x divided by x is 4. Then we multiply 4x plus 8. 
and then the quotient and then the remainder will be zero so the quotient is still x plus four so synthetic division is easier a lot and a lot faster than the long division but it has a limitation it is only easy when your divisor is in the form of x minus c or a linear polynomial so let's go to the next example okay so example number two so let's apply synthetic division so first thing to check is the device so does the divisor has a complete terms from the highest degree going to the constant the answer here is yes so we have the x squared we have the x and we have the constant so now we can simply write down their coefficients as 1 negative 7 and 10 and if x minus c is equal to x minus 5 then our c is equal to 5 so we're ready to perform the synthetic division so we bring down 1 Let me use blue bring down 1 then we multiply 5 times 1 we give a, it will give us a 5 then we add negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2 then we repeat that process 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 and again this is the remainder so the remainder is 0 therefore the quotient is 1x minus 2 so in this manner we can write the polynomial x squared minus 7x plus 10 uh, as a product of those factors or as a product of the divisor and the quotient so we have x oh sorry so we have x squared minus 7x plus 10 is the same as the divisor x minus 5 times the quotient x minus 2 so it can also help us identify if the divisor is a factor of the dividend okay so now we're ready to go to the third example so third example 3x cubed plus 4x minus 5 divided by x plus 1 so as you can see here the degree is 3 and there should be four terms in this divi a given dividend so there are missing terms so first things first arrange it so let's arrange it 3x cubed and since there are, there's not there's no x squared we put a 0x squared for its position there is an x so that's positive 4x and then minus 5 divided by x plus 1 so again our divisor is in the form of x minus c we're in c here is negative 1 so if c is negative 1 our synthetic divisor is negative 1 and our coefficients are as follows we have 3 0 4 and negative 5 so imagine if you're going to perform a long division here it will really be a long process so since the divisor is again a linear polynomial linear polynomial we can perform the long division so with that let's start so let's make this one quick i hope you you follow the process we bring down we multiply then we add so we bring down the three we multiply the negative one times three so that's a negative three then we add that's another negative three repeat the process negative one times negative three is positive three add you get a seven 7 times negative 1 will give you a negative 7 and now we have a remainder of negative 12 and again the quotient of a cubic polynomial the quotient of this cubic polynomial divided by a linear polynomial is one degree lower so therefore our quotient is 3x squared minus 3x plus the 7 minus the remainder 12 over don't forget the divisor x plus 1 and this is now the quotient it's a lot faster than the long division right no but again i will repeat synthetic division is only easy if your divisor is in the form of x minus c okay 
So maybe the question is, can we apply synthetic division if the divisor is 2x plus 5, 5x plus 2? You can still apply it, but it will be a difficult process. I suggest you use the long division. That's my own opinion. So let's have one more example. Wow. So now, last example palata. So divide 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 16x minus 12 by x plus 2. Hence, express that 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 16x minus 12 in terms of x plus 2. In short, we have to express that in factored form. So let's start. <clears throat> First, let's check. Are they complete? We have an x cubed. We have an x squared, we have an x, we have a constant, so it's complete. So now we can simply write down their coefficients. So let's write down the coefficients. That's 4, 3, negative 16. Be careful with negatives, guys, huh? And negative 12. And since our divisor is x plus 2, x minus c, then our c is the negative 2. So our synthetic divisor is negative 2. And now, we just have to perform the synthetic division. We bring down, we multiply, then we add. So we bring down the 4, multiply that. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. We add, that's a negative 5. Then we multiply that again with negative 2. So I hope you are following the process. We multiply that again with negative 2. So for negative 5 times negative 2 is 10, we add negative 16 plus 10 is negative 6. Then we multiply again negative 6 with negative 2, that's a positive 12, and that gives us a 0 remainder, meaning, remainder, meaning the quotient is, is 4x, again 1 degree lower than the dividend. Wait, one degree lower than the dividend, so that's a cubic, so we have a quadratic as our quotient. So that's 4x squared minus 5x minus 6. And since we are told or we are asked to express the 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 16x minus 12 in terms of x plus 2, all we have to do is to multiply our quotient and our divisor. So with that, we have x plus 2 times 4x squared minus 5x minus 6 is the same as our given dividend. Okay, so I hope you did learn something from today's video. And when you're asked to divide polynomials, if you're not asked to use the long division, you can either use in long division or synthetic division. All right. So you have your choice. I hope you did learn something from today's video. And hit the like button if you learned something from today's video. And comment uh, a topic that you would want me to discuss to you on the next video. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Peace.